The Yubia National Park is located in the lush hills of the Galiat forests that stretch from near Islamabad to Abbottabad and through to Azad Kashmir. With its deep valleys, evergreen forests and clear mountain springs, it is one of the most beautiful hill stations in Pakistan as well as an important site for biodiversity. More than 50,000 people live in the areas surrounding the national park and visitors account for another 650,000 each year. For the most part, the local population is extremely poor, lacking even the most basic amenities. Even fuel and water have to be fetched from the surrounding forest. The area is rugged and hilly, and the trip to school is a difficult one. Many children will never make it and remain uneducated with little hope of improving their futures. Life for women is particularly harsh as they are usually the ones that have to go deep into the forest to fetch water and firewood, summer and winter. <laughs> अपने घरों के लिए ला रहे हैं वो हमारी भी मजबूरी है उसकी बुनियादी वजह है कि हमारे पास और दूसरे कोई वसाइल नहीं है जिनको हम दूसरे बार ला सकें In recent years man and nature have come increasingly into conflict The rapid increase in population and the ceaseless march of encroaching human settlements has destroyed large tracts of forest bringing man and animals into close proximity. Leopards, seeing livestock grazing in the forests, will follow them back to the nearby villages. An easy meal to be had under cover of darkness. If humans are nearby, they can fall prey to the attack as well. In an effort to protect their livestock and their families, the villagers sometimes respond by killing any leopards found in the vicinity of an attack. There is a free grazing system. So people depend on the park and the forest around it to provide, uh, you know, the fodder to their livestock. So the cattle especially would spend the entire summer on mushkpuri trop grazing. And um, this kind of system obviously puts their animals in direct conflict with the leopard. The local communities depend heavily on the forest's resources. In order to survive, they have little choice. लकड़ियाँ वगैरह वहाँ से जाके काट के लाते हैं, वो चूल्हा जलाते हैं। इसके अलावा हमारे पास कोई और चारा कारी नहीं है। In an attempt to address the very real problems faced by people here, government and non-governmental organisations have launched programmes to provide alternative means of energy and income. While external job creation and skill development is a must, the proper use of the forest's resources and the plantation of more trees is also essential. I think it's, it's also important that we provide a sustainable source of income for the conservation of uh, the national park, its wildlife and for the development of the community. And then this account is managed by the government, by the civil society 
and uh, the community and it should be available as the committee decides and it then this is more sustainable undoubtedly life for the local people here is harsh and the problems facing them are very real time is running out and in order to protect the people and the forest these problems must be resolved soon the local people need to be given a voice and alternative livelihoods only then can there be any hope for saving this beautiful forest landscape and the incredible wildlife within it.